Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to welcome the reigning back-to-back -back Australian PGA champion Cameron Smith here today. He's going to be the first person in more than 100 years to contend for three in a row. A remarkable achievement. Cam, it's been a pretty significant last fortnight for you, particularly on the back of a successful President's Cup singles match for you. Going for three in a row, how is this week, this build-up, compared to previous uh, attempts to capture the Joe Kirkwood Cup? Um, probably a little bit more stressful. Um, last week was a big week on and off the golf course. Um, still a little bit tired. Um, but in saying that, I'm sure um, tomorrow will hype me up and, and I'll be ready to go. Do you feel the added pressure or are you comfortable in your own game now after the sterling performance you put in on Sunday that that will carry you in good stead for this week? Yeah, I feel pretty confident in my game. Um, it's probably uh, the best I've felt um, with my iron play all year. Um, and to do it on such a challenging layout last week, um, you know, against some of the best players in the world was, was quite good. And um, yeah, I, I can't wait for this week. Um, feeling good. And why do you love playing in the Oz PGA so much? I know it's a, it's a huge. It's a very important week for you to be around family and friends. It helps you relax. Why is it that you enjoy playing here so much? Um, yeah, I think, um, I don't know. I, I like the golf course, obviously. Um, I play well around here. Um, but like you said, it's just such a, such a good week for me off the golf course. Um, lots of family and friends and, and everything. One team of members come down. Um, so the support is uh, really good throughout the week. And I don't know, it's just a good kind of cruisy week. Um, I don't do much off the golf course and just go and hang out and, you know, just feel relaxed. I invite questions from the floor. Cam, do you take a slightly, is that working? Um, <laughs> slightly mindset into this week. You were part of the underdog in the Nationals last week and this week you're one of the favourites and uh, going for three in a row. Is it a slightly different mindset? Um, yeah, for sure. I think um, last week was very team orientated, um, which was great. I love being around the team. Um, it was a great atmosphere we had, um, and I know I, I embraced. I know the whole team embraced the underdog mentality last week. Um, but for sure, obviously, I've got a, a good record around here. Um, yeah, I just can't wait to start. Like I said, I'm feeling really confident where my game's at. Um, so, yeah, I can't wait. Scotty doubled down on uh, Sunrise this morning. I think he said that there's 100 guys going for you this week. I think he sort of said the same thing at the dinner last night. Like, just do that friendly banter with him leading up to tomorrow? Yeah. Um, you know, as soon as we were done on, on Sunday afternoon last week, he said, I'm coming for you next week. So, uh, um, yeah, I mean, Scotty's a great guy. He was a great guy to be around last week. Um, I learned a lot of off him and you know there's you know there's 150 guys this week that are all wanting the same thing so it's going to be tough to to get that trophy on Sunday. Have you just played the program this morning or no of course you haven't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it would have been very up very early sorry about that. So did you play any holes yesterday? No I um I didn't play any holes yesterday okay. yeah okay, I, so I, I was going to ask you Just uh, another question. This tournament's played played really close to Christmas, the closest it's ever been. How does that work for you in that regard? Um, it actually worked out pretty good for me. Um, it's my girlfriend and I swapped Christmases, and with it being so close to Christmas, um, I got two in a row. So <laughs> that's good for me, I guess. Uh, more time with the family. So um, yeah, I mean. Any time I get to spend with my family now, I, I love. Um, I don't get to spend much time with them. So, um, yeah, it definitely worked out better for me, for sure. Cam, you spoke after your match on Sunday about the highs and lows of a 10 minute period. What about Monday and Tuesday compared to backing up normally week after week? How's the emotional letdown been? And when will you know you're back up again? Um, yeah, obviously, uh, personally, last week, um, it was great. Um, I knew they needed the point, 
on on Sunday afternoon and to get that done was awesome and then you know in the space of 10 minutes um coach hold that putt on 17 for us to for us to lose so it was quite gut-wrenching um it still kind of hasn't sunk in yet I guess the um I don't know just the the disappointment I guess we we all tried so hard we all we all played for each other and it was an awesome week and kind of not to to get the result we wanted was was um quite difficult to take but um yeah I don't know really it's it's I still hasn't I still haven't even you know got to think about what's happened on on Sunday do you feel like your energy levels are where they would normally be this time of the week um probably not <laughs> I had a uh, quite a big Sunday night, <laughs> so um, basically all of Monday was a travel day and a bit of a washout, and then I drove down here yesterday from Brisbane, so um, yeah, a little bit, I guess, being such a stressful week, um, it always takes it out of you, it's like being in contention, I feel like the next week I'm always um, a little bit slower and, um, you know, a little bit down on energy but um in saying that i'm sure the the crowd will be good tomorrow and um yeah i'm, I'm sure i'll be up for the challenge tomorrow yeah i think he's going to cook that tomorrow morning i don't know we might have to start cooking at about 2 30 in the morning at 6 a.m tea time but <laughs> um yeah, it's been the secret recipe, I guess, the last few years. It's it's worked out good, so we're going to keep it going. Just a quick one, Cam. As a rugby league fanatic, are you filthy with Adam Scott that he got to play with Jonathan Thurston today? Yes, <laughs> I mentioned that to him last night. I think um, one of the guys up there yesterday said that he was playing with him, and I said, "I've never wanted to be you so bad." <laughs> I mean, I wanted to be him my whole life, but then, um, and then now to play with JT was. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a big uh, big loss in my books. Cameron, uh, obviously this golf course really does fit your eye. Are you able to explain what it is about it that suits your game or that your game suits? It? Um, I think you have to be. I think you have to be pretty, you know, pinpoint with your irons into the greens. I think it's um, it's not. It's not difficult off the tee. The fairways are quite generous. Um, if you if you're smart, um, you can you can be the the big guy and hit the drivers and stuff if you want if you're feeling good. But um, I think you really have to control your irons and and in the wind um, around here. In, as you know, it's always windy around here. So I think that's been the big thing the last couple of years is I've just been able to um, you know hit those three quarter shots and those low shots and stuff um, and control them. Would you say that? Um, I think uh, I think it was um, at some points through the year. I I don't. It kind of went out the window a little bit. But um, like I said just before, I, I'm starting to feel really confident with that again. And um, when my typically when my irons are on, um, I play really good golf. So um, it kind of takes the stress off, you know, the putter and and the driver, knowing that you're going to get chances and. Um, yeah, it's just it's just easy golf, I guess. It's not it's not stressful at all. Kim, last year was a thirty six hole shootout between yourself and Leach, really. Your relationship with Adam, how's that different to Leach? And how do you think the atmosphere would be different compared to Leach if you two were sort of going head to head the weekend? Um, I don't think I don't think the atmosphere would be any different. I think um Leach and I as good of mates as we are, we we're both still you know, we both still want to win. We're still competitors, and um, you know the 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 talk on the last nine holes last year was pretty minimal. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're we're all here to do the same thing. So, um, and it, it got, I mean, it didn't get intense, um, but it definitely got a little bit different um, on that back nine on Sunday for sure. Into the greens, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to play with two longer hitters 
ever again, to be honest. Um, I've played with Cameron a few times and with Foxy a bunch over the years and they just hit it miles. I mean, it's so impressive to watch. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll get to put the pressure on them going into the green, so it'll be good. And, Cam, what's the goal for next year? What would you like to see off? Um, probably the same as last year. I didn't quite get to the top 20 in the world. Um, I wanted to do that all year and didn't quite make it. I think I got down to maybe 25 or 26 or something like that um, at the start of the year. But um, I definitely want to get in there. Um, I feel like that's the next kind of big step. Um, but it, it's a lot of hard work and it's a lot of you know, good results. So, but I'm willing to do that. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, um, especially being in, in my backyard, essentially, it's, um, it'll be really nice. Um, I haven't really, I don't really like thinking about, you know, what if. Um, I'm just kind of going to try and do my job to the best of my ability. And if it happens on, on Sunday, um, great. But if not, it's, you know, I've, I've given it my all and um, it kind of is what it is. Yeah, just, just quickly, do you think there'll be any residue from the President's Cup? I mean, there was a fair bit of bitterness there during the week, wasn't there, um, when you get back on tour of the States? Um, I don't think so. I think, um, I think, I think I was just passionate last week. I just wanted the, I wanted the home crowd um, to really get behind us, and they did. They were, they were great all week. Um, and I think those guys understand. I mean, they they get it when they're in the States. Um, so why shouldn't we have it? Um, it? It was a really good week and I think they understand and um, they kind of respect um, everything that happened. So, you know, it is what it is and I'm sure we'll all move on and um, next year will be next year. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.